to breaking news tonight. In less than 48 hours, North Carolina will take a massive step toward reopening. Yes, just this afternoon, Governor Roy Cooper announcing the state will officially enter into phase two this Friday. But seeing an increase in cases, though, he actually scaled back how much of the economy will reopen. And here's what all of that means. Now, the stay at home order will be lifted nearly two months after it went into effect. Restaurants will open with limits on their capacity and some new rules. Close contact businesses like salons and barber shops can also open up Friday with some rules in place and pools can open as well. But under what they're calling a safer at home order, bars, gyms, playgrounds and theaters will stay closed. All of this set to go into effect on Friday. As you saw, this will change a lot and of ways that we've been living our life the past two months. Yes, we have team coverage for you to take you step by step through some of the biggest changes you can expect, starting with our Mark Becker. Mark, so many people are wondering how restaurants will be able to open up and keep customers safe. They have a lot of regulations to follow. That is a calculation restaurant owners have been working on for some time. Make no mistake, they are relieved that the governor now is going to be opening restaurants like Harper's here starting on Friday at 5 o'clock. But that calculation won't be easy, and it's one restaurants will have to figure out if they're going to survive. The tables are, are 8 feet apart. Chef Thomas Barlow showed us all of the things Mimosa Grill in Uptown is doing to get ready for a reopening day with its new rules, including limited seating and constant cleaning. Even the restroom will always have hand sanitizer for you. Uh, and then a really cool thing that we can add to the doors is a step and pull. So you More than two months after they closed, reopening can't come too soon. I think we're finally ready to kind of put it behind us and start start moving forward. We gotta start, we gotta start the train back on the tracks. I've been doing this now for 30 some years. And this is the toughest patch we've ever been through. Tom Sasser owns no half question. a dozen restaurants in the we'll Charlotte area, that. including Harper's, a fixture in South Park for almost 30 years. He says they plan to reopen here gradually. But when the lights do finally come back on here, he knows it'll only work if customers feel safe coming back. And then we just need to see how we can get back to being full again, because that's really the goal and how we can work together to all be safe. And Tom Sasser is also concerned about the 400 or so employees who work in all of his restaurants. He's lost sleep over the last two months, worrying about them and getting them back to work. That is certainly something he is hoping to do as much as possible.